you heard from after your catch? <sighs> Coolest person, uh, Miles Straw. <laughs> What did Straw say? He just said, let's, uh, let's F and go. That was heat. <laughs> um, Chaz, now that you, back here. Sorry, yeah. Now that uh, you've seen the video, I presume, what were your thoughts uh, upon watching it? Uh, it, was, it was cool. I mean, it was, it was a good catch, perfect timing, really big catch. Um, I'm, just, I'm just happy that uh, I was able to help the team win. Um, but yeah, I mean, I watched it a lot. A lot of people said it to me, um, but it's a new day. Go up here to Francisco, to your right, Chess. That was an explicit catch, man. Congratulations Thank on you. that sense. And uh, as you say, it's a new day, new page. Yep. Um, how, um, how are the guys inside? How do you guys feel about this uh, game six that usually has not been a nice game for the Houston Astros yeah. in the World Series? So how do you guys feel about it? Tonight. We feel good. We're ready to go. We're prepared. We're focused. Um, you know, we're going to do anything to win tonight. Um, we're not going to play with too much pressure. Um, we're just going to play like we've been playing all season. We're confident. We're ready to go. Towards the back right. The Astros just announced that Yuli is now not a part of the roster. How do you yeah. think that changes the offense? Um, I don't think it changes too much. Obviously, Yuli's been one of our best hitters in the postseason, so obviously it stinks not having him. But, you know, we have guys that know their role, and uh, we're confident in anybody who's going to be in that lineup. We have a lot of good hitters on this team. Um, yeah, so I don't think it will change much. Obviously, losing Yuli sucks. Um, but, you know, at this time, everyone's got to be ready. The fifth row in the left center aisle. You're wearing the Fram Framber Quality Tour shirt. Yeah. I see a lot of guys wearing those in mm -hmm. pregame. Uh, is that just a sign of support for the guy pitching the night? And where, how did y'all get all? How did y'all all get those shirts? Uh, yeah, I mean Framber's on the mound. Uh, we have tons of confidence in him. I mean, I personally just like wearing the shirts. It's really comfortable. Um, I think a lot of us like these shirts. Uh, but obviously, um, Framber is pitching today, and this this uh, yeah, it's just kind of support. You know, we got his back. Um, yeah, and I. The shirts just randomly were put in her locker, so I, I really like them. Other questions for Chaz? Uh, Matt, up front here. Chaz, you've never been a high-profile guy until all of this. Yeah. Uh, how's, how do you deal with that? And uh, you've always been great about staying focused, even when you yep. got sent down to AAA for a couple of days. I mean, you've you've always done that. So how do you how do you go forward? In this world, you just gotta move on. I mean, every day is a new day. Um, personally, I I tried not to check my phone, kind of leave that leave that out. Um, you know, just wait till the season over, and then maybe I'll look at my phone more. Uh, but uh, like I said, today's a new day. Um, you kind of gotta. It's in the past. You gotta forget about it. Just stay focused and, and be prepared every single day, and and know the ultimate goal. Um, and yeah, it's it's just. It's time to refocus and, and uh, be ready to win a ball game. A third row right in the middle. Chad, I know you're trying to focus on today, but I think it was the Yankee series. You talked about your sort of evolution as a hitter. So coming off of this catch, I was curious about your evolution as a defensive player. And, and if maybe there was some motivation for you as you were platooning over the last year or so of, yeah. of kind of trying to put the work in to, to you know make some improvements there as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, uh, Kind of been more of a corner outfielder guy, um, but you know they really needed me to play play center field. Um, and you know I've done a lot of work this year, even in spring training, to you know become a good center fielder because being being a good center fielder is really big in this league. And uh, you know you, you have control over the whole outfield. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to make make plays for the team wherever wherever I'm, I'm at. Um, I'm, I'm confident in wherever I'm at. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm. For the past couple of months, I've been starting to feel really good in uh, center field. Second row on your right, Bob. Chaz, back to your catch. Did you get any uh, strange or funny comments from friends who are diehard Phillies fans? Uh, yeah, I got some strange, strange things. Uh, I won't won't really talk about, but a lot. Most of them were were, man, you could have dropped that ball, or why did you catch that ball? Uh, but yeah, that's really about it. Uh, the back left corner, Dave. 
Chaz, kind of on, the, on that same thing. I mean, you're up against it anyway going into that series. We're in the wrong uniform for your crew back home. But as, as good as they were about it before going into the series, after that catch, did, was there more of an edge to it after, after they saw you, uh, saw you do that? Yeah, yeah, I didn't have any friends after that, to tell you the truth. Um, but I'm, I'm super happy I got to do it in the hometown. Other questions for Chaz? Uh, the back center there. I guess just one last on the catch. Um, growing up in Westchester, did you ever think that you would literally make your mark on Citizens Bank Park like that? No, I never did. I know uh, my 13-year-old self would be really mad at my mad at me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, leaving my mark in my hometown ballpark uh, is nothing better. Anything else for Chaz? All right, Thank Chaz, you. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Thanks.